It's Lily and welcome to Business Diaries Part 2. If you don't know, this is going to be a series where I document the process of running my business, giving y'all tips, showing y'all behind the scenes, and just because we girl bossing it all 2023, all the rest of our lives. So, your girl's officially a high school graduate. Do so you know what that means? This is my full-time shebang now. So, I'm actually getting ready to release a necklace literally tomorrow. I'm prepping for it today because I'm going on a trip on Friday. So I'm releasing it Wednesday. Hope to get all the orders out before I leave for my trip because we're taking a red eye. So that's what this vlog will pretty much be. Let me show y'all what I'm releasing. Not giving you all the summer, spring vibes. Like, I'm obsessed with these butterfly necklaces. They represent growth and transformation because I feel like that's a chapter I'm going on. I'm going through right now in my life. It's currently 1047 and we got to post the Instagram stories first because... Obviously, you can't do a release and not promote. I already started doing some yesterday, and it is so cute. I also announced that we're releasing the necklace on Wednesday yesterday. Trust me, I would like to start promoting a release like at least a week before, but it's been a lot going on with graduation. I was supposed to actually release this like last Friday, so we just, we gonna push through it. And but basically, I just did some interactive reels. I did a, this is my first announcement for the growth collection. I'm like obsessed with this, like, ah! I hand rent like the growth collection and then put the time and everything then I just put the actual necklaces in the meaning and then the little cute butterflies because that's what it signifies and it's just so cute so those posts are already there those are about like five hours so I'm gonna start posting my new stories for today I'm gonna do one where it's just kind of like my agenda for the day I like to kind of make my Instagram stories like almost a behind the scenes but also like a a closer look so I really want to build a community with Made by Lily like one of my things for the new year that I said and I'm really starting to do it with my ambassador program and everything so I just want to keep on doing that I may do one where it's like ask me questions so and we're gonna do some infographics to post I'm probably gonna post like the prices and then like maybe a secret discount code to do for emails okay so basically me and giselle had a photo shoot like literally last month in the beginning of the month so right now i'm go and we took videos also so right now i'm going through the videos and making a short little clip video to post on reels as a promo for my new do. release tell me what to do okay tell me what to do all i know is hit the mall see what damage i could do okay I'm not gonna lie, y'all. Tell me I didn't eat this up, bro. Tell me I didn't eat this up. Video on that I just did. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna save that and I'm gonna post that. Go ahead and post that today. I also am going to post. I'm gonna go ahead and get that ready. Because I noticed when I have my drafts ready, it's way more easier for me to just boom, boom, boom. So I'm going to do that. And then I also need to make some TikTok get ready with me's. Okay, my neighbor's like staring at me. It's kind of awkward. I also need to do some TikTok get ready with me's for my personal page. Because I noticed when I promote on there, stuff does really well too. We got somewhere to do. It's currently 11 o'clock. Okay, now that some of the Men by Lily stuff is done, it's time to do the personal stuff. So I'm going to do a get ready with me TikTok outfit and then i'm just gonna show the necklace i'm gonna try not to like fully what i've noticed is if you're trying to promote something try not to fully put it in people's faces but just like you know sprinkle some there and they won't be like oh where that's from you'll be like ah, maybe by lily releasing tomorrow so yeah i'm gonna do that so i can post that today and i need to figure out the outfit that i'm gonna wear Okay, so basically this corner right here is my filming TikTok spot, and then I put my tripod right here, and I just did the clips. Let me show y'all. So I made the outfit, boom, boom, boom. I literally take like three, five, six, many clips as I can, and let me show y'all the outfit I made. It's giving like, oh, she about to go to like a dinner party, or oh, she like, I don't know, it's giving kind of fancy. I probably wouldn't wear this just on a regular basis. But it's super cute. This top is from Pretty Little Thing. And jewelry is made by Lily, of course. And then this skirt is actually from Kohl's. And, you know, we also got a sneak peek of another release coming. Hmm. Okay, I'm exporting my video. And then I'm going to go ahead and draft it and find a song on TikTok to post it with. Just follow me on there because I post a lot more on there. Time to make some jewelry. 
Okay, we are at my office um, office table, and right now I'm about to start making the jewelry because obviously we can't have a release without jewelry, and I want to do a lot of pre-made necklaces because I am going on my trip on Friday, so if the necklace is already done, I can just boom, pack it up, and ship it up. So, y'all, this is my favorite chain ever. I feel like everyone loves this chain. It's different, and I feel like it's becoming like a big brotherly staple. So, I have all my charms and pendants, my chain and findings, my jump rings, my pearls. Let's get to it. Okay, progress update, y'all. When I tell you, jewelry takes a long time to make. Like, Lily here, but can y'all tell I was putting my blood, sweat, and tears into this release? Y'all see how messed up my hair look and how just like different I look from the last clip? Yeah, I put in my hard work into these releases, y'all. I want to say each necklace maybe takes like 20 to 10 minutes. And here's a clear one. And I'm finished making my green one. So those two are done. Okay, guys, I'm taking pictures of the necklaces. And I'm on the phone with Giselle. Oh, no. No, you're not even in it. Okay. But yeah, this is basically the setup. It's just a plant. I'm literally using my shirt as a background and... Just wait until the final pictures. I asked you guys on my business Instagram to ask me a few questions about just business related stuff, topics and all that. So I'm going to answer a few of them. Only like three or a couple. Or maybe like three or five. I don't know. A couple because I feel like I want to make a whole big video on it. So yeah. One of the questions I got asked was with how do you deal with slow periods? I feel like this is one thing a lot of people don't talk, especially with businesses. Like, you guys, there's going to be days where you don't get sales. There's going to be weeks where you don't get sales. There's going to be, like, oh, even a whole month where you, okay. Mm, a whole month where you get sales. But you also have to, like, you have to figure out, okay, why am I going through this slow period? Am I promoting enough? Am I, am I really doing my full potential that my business can be and if you're not then that's how you know you're in a slow period and if you're not then that's how you know how to get out of a slow period or say you're doing everything you're on top of your stuff but it's just not reaching the certain audience or whatever then that's when i feel like you gotta take a step back and see like okay if this isn't working for me what will work and that's pretty much what i do or but honestly slow periods are tough because it's like sometimes you feel like you're not good enough or it's just like is this even gonna work out but i feel like you just gotta keep on pushing because there's always gonna be ups and downs with business it's never gonna be at a complete high that's one thing you have to know and yeah next thing is how do you organize your time i use a to-do list in a planner but i want to say i used to be on top of my time i feel like i've been kind of slacking recently but i'm getting back into that now that it's summertime so hopefully I want to say like for it to figure out your priorities like okay if you know there's something big that you need to do today do that thing first i be doing that sometimes where i procrastinate and try to do it last but trust me once it's done first you're gonna feel such a relief and it's just like okay now what's next like you know another thing is what keeps you motivated and how to stay disciplined i just i can't lose i know this sounds so cringy and just like girl be real but like i really can't like I feel like I've just put too much time, too much hard work. It's like, oh, it's really a mindset type thing. Like, I know I'm not going to fail. Well, obviously I'm going to fail, but in the end goal, I know I'm not going to fail. Like, everything is going to work out. And because I believe in God, I know he has the right path for me. And I feel like I'm going on the path he wants me to go on. I feel like I've been also just like knowing that I want better for me and my family, for myself. It just keeps me pushing. And yeah. Discipline wise, honestly, you guys watching keep me disciplined. I don't know if that makes sense, but like literally when people come up to me or when people text me and just say like, you know, I'm proud of you, I see what you're doing, or just like you motivate me and stuff, and like they fully believe in me. If so, if all these other people can believe in me, why should I not believe in myself, you know? Because it's like, y'all really rooting for me, and like I can't let y'all down, so no, I'm not gonna let myself down. Like, I just gotta keep going, and yeah. With that being said, I just want to give a huge thank you to you, whoever's watching this. If you've ever bought for my business, if you ever just watched my video, if you ever just liked, if you ever just sent me a message, just like, thank you. Because honestly, it pushes me a lot. And it's one of the things that honestly have saved me from almost stopping doing what I've done a couple times. And oh my god, why the fuck am I going to cry? But I don't want to get through any feelings. I don't want to cry. But yeah. So those were a few questions I was going to answer. I'm going to do a deep, deep and deep in depth video about business with all the other questions you guys ask so stay tuned for that hey guys welcome to my office 
today we are basically okay i kind of want to do like on my stories do like a pack and order with me and i'll probably pack orders with you guys too stories is a great way to interact with your customers and your community and all of that so let's go ahead and make a little video i'm just gonna post this little picture of me and i'm gonna be like tap to package orders with me and with that ooh, dynamite huh yeah hit them with that ah, ah, eh, hips first step to the shipping orders process is printing out the packing slips and the shipping labels because how else are you gonna send your packages out? Also, Shopify just made their plan even more expensive. So now it's $40 a month to do your website. So there's another hidden cost about running a business. You gotta pay for your website. And also a lot of the time, like your shipping labels, it comes out of your money, but not really because obviously you get reimbursed because the customers pay for it. But yeah, I'm about to go on my Shopify right now and I'll show you guys how I print them out and connect it to my roll opener. Okay, first step is you're going to log on to your Shopify. I have five orders I need to complete. I'm probably going to do about three of them. The max I want a customer waiting is like five days. But when I say five days, I mean business days. So not including Saturday or Sundays. Basically, on your order thing, you just go ahead and click. Click and click. Shipping labels. Right. And all the pounds and everything. It's three dollars. I mean, girl, no, I wish it was three dollars, but it's twelve dollars per label. Here it says print three shipping labels or print three packaging slips. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the packaging slips first because I like to make everything and then I print everything else. I'm also updating my story, so each step, I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of hard for me because I'm like multitasking with shipping the labels, vlogging on here, and doing this. But hey, this is your job. You gotta do what you gotta do. So I'm just gonna post this and then. The picture, I'm going to post the picture of the roller printer before the labels. And then once the labels print, I'm going to print it. I'm going to post it after like that. I will check that the nobody's address is shown because I would not want to be my, I would not want my address to be exposed. So why would I try to expose y'all address? What you do is you just grab the little cord that comes with the roller printer. Honestly, I feel like the roller printer is the easiest um, thermal printer. I know some people have had problems with like the, I think it's called the Daiso one. So highly suggest the roller. And I just do Command P on the MacBook, and we click Roll Opener. I like to make sure it's on. There we go. And I do a little test run. Then the Roll Opener for packing the stuff, I have to put it in like for 50% scale, so that way it fits perfectly. And now let's print it out. Let's show y'all the satisfying ASMR. Now I'm going to print out these shipping labels. Voila! And now we can go ahead and set that up on the packing station. packaging desk and my work desk. So I'm just going to kind of clean some things off of it because I was eating my little lunch and whatnot. So I'm just going to my iPad right here. So I have this whole thing. I like to put the, I put the packaging slips with the shipping labels. That way I don't get confused because you do not want to send a customer the wrong item or just mix up shipping labels. Because then it's all bad because then on your end you're going to have to pay an extra fee. Then it's going to be an inconvenience for the customer and it's just going to, it's going to be a lot. So the names match on the shipping labels. And I usually just end up like folding the packing slips because we don't want them to be too big and take over the whole package. I get so excited when I order stuff from places and it says your item shipped. So I hope people get the same excited, you know, when they see mine and they're like, ah, mom made my Lily come in. Okay, this is where I create my jewelry and that is what we're about to make right now. Two first orders first because both of them have a zodiac necklace and then an angel, so they're kind of the same. This is the jewelry setup. We are making a zodiac necklace and an angel number necklace. I did take a picture so I can go ahead and post it on Instagram. So I can do like a before and after of like before and then when all the jewelry is done. Make sense now. Shit just got real, things are getting intense now. I hear you talking about we are. Okay guys, I just finished doing the necklace. We have the zodiac necklaces, angel number, and then the extra pearl necklace. Now let's pack it up because we literally have 10 minutes before I need to leave to drop them off at the post office. Extra pearl necklace for Ramona. The Scorpio Zodiac necklace for Nayana 
I have the 444 and Cancer Necklace for Angelica. Ah, literally all my favorites. Giving me the sign, so I gotta take a hit now.